While I was a bit too old for the Rugrats when they debuted, I got into them a bit with my older daughter, so I'm at least familiar with them. Having caught some of their shows over the years, as well as an odd movie involving Reptar, I definitely consider it to be a licensed property that many people of gaming age should recognize. With Adventures in Gameland, the hope is to capitalize on their notoriety by delivering a game with some family-friendly cred, spot-on characters and animations, and hopefully a bit of charm. The most notable aspect of the game is absolutely its art style, which includes backgrounds that are typically quite imaginative paired with generally well-animated characters from the show. Given that its look is tied directly to gameplay, you couldn't go as far as saying it looks like it's right out of the show, but if there were video games featured within an episode, it seems reasonable to think this is how they'd look. Everything is colorful, appropriately child-friendly for the most part, and the movement is generally fluid as well. Unfortunately, I'd say my impression was a bit more mixed where the gameplay and general experience was concerned. My first issue is with the game simply starting you on your journey without even basic instructions. Sure, there isn't much to know, and you can simply assume you can jump, and you'll probably luck into figuring out you can butt stomp. But will you also just know that you're able to pick things up? This just felt like a sloppy omission, especially given that the license here is on the lighter side, so it feels like it should be trying to appeal to casual to moderate gamers. The thing is, the more I played, the more I felt conflicted about who the game was made for. Is it supposed to be a fun romp for people who simply love the Rugrats and want to have some light fun? Or is it meant to be tougher, fair, and direct conflict with its colorful visuals? While perhaps I'm going a bit too far down the rabbit hole with my thinking here, the game just feels like a misfire. Previously, I've played a number of other Nickelodeon games that have absolutely been focused on relatively light fun, the kind of stuff that probably anyone in the family could play and enjoy. Despite the characters and Rugrats all being toddlers, somehow this is the one that's more old-school tough? Would hardcore gamers really want their friends seeing that they're booting up a Rugrats game? In the end, I'm confused who this is meant to be for and that's a bit of a problem. Overall, my final score for the game ended up being a 6. And if you're interested in picking it up, it's currently available on the Switch eShop for $24.99. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this review. And if you'd like more information or ideas of indie games worth checking out on Switch, be sure to click on the link provided in the description. Until next time.